The following is an extreme exaggeration of a real-life phenomenon. If you will, imagine a land where everyone shares the same space they live in, with no individual ownership of the space they occupy. This space is known as the commons, and this is the tale of the tragedy of the commons. In this imaginary land, known as Fake Island, lived the locals. The locals were happy with their way of life. They lived in their homes, they farmed their animals, and they fished their ocean. As a matter of fact, the locals' entire way of life depended on their fishing. The farm animals here on Fake Island loved to eat fish. Fish means food. Food means survival. The ocean the locals fished out of was common land. Each of the fishermen caught two fish for each fishing rod they had casted. One farmer decided to cast a second rod to double his fish. He could now feed more of his farm animals. And his family had more to eat. The other fishermen each doubled the rods. Each doubled the catch. Each doubled the food supply. And each had more to eat with their families. More is better, right? Until you run out of ocean to fish it is. Each time the greedy fishermen tried to outfish their competition, they knowingly decreased the ocean and the water supply. Soon the ocean was gone. No ocean means no fish. No fish means no food for the animals. And no food for them means no food for the locals. With no way off the island, the locals had nothing to do but wait to die. They out-resourced themselves. If you have no resources on a remote island, the volcano gets angry and kills everyone on the island. Well, not really, but yeah, they all die. And now you know about the tragedy of the commons.